From the previous video, we discussed and talked about various AI specializations, particularly per vendor. So we have AWS and other cloud technologies have their own view and offerings on AI. NVIDIA also has a different perspective as they pioneered in leveraging GPUs for AI servers. Now, our favorite vendor Cisco is clearly on the move. Of course, this tech giant still want to remain relevant in evolving technologies. See, they added a new CCNP data center concentration exam. And yeah, you guess it right, it focuses on AI or artificial intelligence. Let me highlight this. Again, it's CCNP data center. AI servers and applications resides in data center or cloud environment, not in campus, not in enterprise. So for those who are taking or planning to take CCNP enterprise track, sorry, no AI for you. And as usual, comment below and shout out your location, like nice video Dean from Serbia, Costa Rica, Sri Lanka. But if you are in a large country, please also mention your city, like from New Orleans, Venice Aires, Cheda, etc. And also don't forget to like and follow our social media pages. I'm here now at google.com and uh, let us search CCNP data center certification. All right, uh, so we have uh, this results. Let's click CCNP data center certification and training, the second result. And now we are here in, yes, yeah, Cisco Learning Network, CCNP data center certification and training. Now, here to obtain the certification, you need to pass to exam. So all CCNP track or all CCNP uh, with different tracks, it requires a mandatory core exam, right? For data center track, we have DC core, right? And again, this is mandatory. It's currently in version 1.2. And uh, it requires also to choose another exam. This second exam is what we call concentration exam. And we have multiple options. We just need to choose one. So in the list, we have DCID. Uh, this is for design, DCIT, troubleshooting data center infrastructure. We also have DCACI if you want to specialize in Cisco ACI. And we have DC Auto if you want to specialize in automation and programmability. And the new exam is DCAI, implementing Cisco data center AI infrastructure. So let's click exam topics. All right. As you can see, the first day to test is February of 2026. And uh, let's look at the exam description. So it's a 90 minute examination associated with CNP data center. This exam certifies a candidate's knowledge in design, implementation, monitoring, troubleshooting of AI infrastructure. This includes our typical data center uh, components and technologies, compute storage, orchestration tools, and uh, networking. And this exam is actually associated with two courses. One is DCAI AOT and DCAI E. Now, this exam covers these four categories, right? So the first category is AI fundamentals and applications. So let's see what we have. Um, so the first few are just the basics. Describe AI and ML workload types. So we have RAG, training, in inference, generative AI. Uh, 1.2 and 1.3 describe AI life cycle and use cases. We don't have much information. Okay, AI infrastructure. So these are the typical data center infrastructure. We have cloud, hybrid cloud, on-prem, edge AI. And here are some of the components. Now I'm seeing, and this is just an upgrade of our traditional data center. Obviously we have network, obviously we have compute, but in AI, we will upgrade it with GPU deployment using NVLink. Now, NVLink, this is a technology uh, that is introduced by NVIDIA. Okay, I'm not sure if this feature is already a standard. Now, an upgrade for servers before um, we use virtualization, but in AI, containerization is a big deal. Orchestration, monitoring, and storage, uh, these three are very normal or typical in a data center environment. Describe Cisco AI solutions. So we have AI Pause, AI Canvas, Hyperfabric AI. So this is new to me, all of these three. 
All right, now for the second category, infrastructure components and architectures, let's look. Evaluate network deployment based on AI workload requirements. And this includes bandwidth, latency, redundancy, scalability, security. So this is typical for any other deployments. It's not just for AI. Uh, this also can be uh, used in campus, in data center or traditional data center, service provider, etc. Now, the second one here is evaluate compute deployments. Now, this is different now. Why? When you say AI servers, we're not just talking about CPUs and memories. We are also talking about GPU resources. Okay, and uh, obviously some of the most uh, common resources in servers like memory, virtualization, etc. Evaluate storage, deployment based on AI, evaluate power efficiency, sustainability based on AI workload. So these uh, are the others, these are very common okay, for data center infrastructure. Now let's look at the third category, AI infrastructure deployment and data management. Uh, first, configure high-performance network to support AI workloads using Cisco Data Center. So congestion mechanism, PFC, ECN, so these are uh, already common in data center. What is not common here is the RDMA over converged Ethernet. So this is new. I've only seen this in uh, NVIDIA articles and training materials, uh, but not in Cisco. We also have QoS, load distribution, very common in data center environments. Now, what's next is, oh, there you go. So this is where you see Cisco platforms and solutions. So um, the second uh, uh, details here is high performance computing storage using Cisco UCS. So if you're familiar with Cisco UCS, you will see a lot of policy profiles. Um, we have here domain profiles, power policy, storage policy, NTP, and uh, these are just uh, one of the few profiles and policy where you create in UCS or in InterSight. Uh, deploy AI ready fabrics using Cisco orchestration tools. So these are also common orchestration or management or uh, controller platforms of Cisco. So if you're not familiar with this, Nexus dashboard. So this is the centralized management controller for uh, Nexus NX over switches, APIC for Cisco ACI enabled switches. Uh, this is an SDN controller. Uh, Hyperfabric, not really familiar, but InterSight, this is central management for not just UCS servers, but all other um, tools, as not, not, not tools, but platforms as well. So you can manage, configure, not just only Cisco UCS, even other platforms like Nutanix, other vendors, or even uh, other appliances like Cisco Nexus. And last, the fourth category here is more of operations and troubleshooting. And what I see here, these are just generic um, training modules that involves monitoring. And as you can see here, monitoring of AI data center infrastructure using Cisco Nexus dashboard and InterSight. Okay, other features using telemetry, system health, alerts, log correlation, and of course, um, many different tools to troubleshoot our AI infrastructure. Here's what I think. This exam looks promising. It's good if you are already familiar with Cisco data center technologies, such as Nexus, ACI, UCS, InterSight, etc. It doesn't include much new AI-specific technology, though. Will I recommend it? Well, if you are already planning to obtain CCNP data center, Obviously, first you need to pass the core exam. For data center track, it's DC core. And this exam, this DCAI, probably the best concentration exam. <laughs> Oops, I take that back. Maybe not. DC auto is still better. What are the chances that your company will be needing Cisco AI data center infrastructure skills? Well, definitely data center automation knowledge is still more useful today. Will I take it? I would only take this exam if there are training demands. But until then, I would rather focus on other certifications.